Well, 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 look who we have here. The King's sharpshooter is suddenly a hot commodity. Is he the next big trade deal or just a shiny new toy? I can see it now. The 76ers are probably chanting his name while imagining him in their uniform. Or maybe they're just really hungry and want someone to cook up some wins. Who knows? But hey, Kings, better hold on tight. We all know how these rumors can make players feel like the prom queen, always in demand. But are they really that popular? Honestly, who didn't see this coming? Trading rumors swirl like a tornado at a carnival. Exciting, but also a bit nauseating. You know that feeling when you feel like you're playing musical chairs, but you're the only one without a seat? Yep, it's about to get awkward for the Kings if this becomes a reality. You can bet the front office is like a skeptic at a magic show, constantly looking for the sleight of hand. Spoiler alert, there might not be a rabbit in this hat, friends. And speaking of magic, let's talk about the 76ers. They're probably thinking about what kind of enchantment they need to perform to get the sharpshooter on their roster. Maybe a coin flip or a game of rock, paper, scissors will do. After all, players can't literally just teleport, right? They can't be like, abracadabra, I'm a sixer now. But wouldn't that be a hoot? I can just picture the team chemist whipping up a potion to ensure smooth trades. Newsflash, it won't work if you drop it on the court. As we dive deeper into the emotional roller coaster of trade talks, let's take a moment to appreciate the Warriors with their no drama bumper sticker. They're just chilling in the corner, sipping their green smoothies, while the rest of the league is plotting world domination, or at least competitive basketball. Meanwhile, the Kings might want to keep their phone close, but not too close, because you know, don't want to give them heart palpitations with all these rumors flying. I can just imagine the conversations behind closed doors. So should we just give the Kings a couple of donuts and call it a deal? What's their buyout on snacks? They're probably very snack oriented. Trading for sweets sounds like a legitimate NBA transaction as far as I'm concerned. I mean, who can resist a solid pastry for a potential superstar? I can hear Team Cheesecake and Team Tiramisu battling over who gets to negotiate that trade. But hey, let's be real for a second. If the sharpshooter kicks butt in the next few games, the Kings might just want to hold tight despite all this chatter, because who wouldn't want to keep their best players, right? It's like, it's like trying to unglue a toddler from a toy aisle. Not gonna happen. The idea of losing your top player can feel like preparing to watch the season finale of your favorite show. Devastating. And you're left thinking, why'd I invest so much time into this? So, after all this back and forth, here comes the big question. Are any of us really ready to see what happens next? Are we prepared to witness trades that make us roll our eyes and laugh at the audacity of these teams? Or will we just be over here, munching popcorn, waiting for the drama to unfold? Let's have a chat. What do you think is going to happen? Will the 76ers snag the sharpshooter? Or is this all just for our entertainment? Your thoughts. Like and subscribe, please.